The Gamecocks open as a two-point favorite. Within minutes, that line shifts to East Carolina as a four-point favorite. As we sit here talking on Labor Day, Monday afternoon, uh, that line has since settled into ECU as a two-point favorite. Now, many, many fans have had, you know, instant reactions. Oh, that's bogus. That's BS. You know, a lot of my buddies, they predicted the Gamecocks would be a nine-point favorite, ten-point. And I told them, I said, if South Carolina is anything more than a touchdown favorite, I'd be totally shocked. Um, We saw ECU against Appalachian State. They got pushed around a little bit. They got bullied by Appalachian State, no question. South Carolina has a huge, impressive 46 to nothing win over EIU. What do you make of that line? I don't know if you're like a huge gambling guy, but I feel like you, you follow it closely enough. But what, I mean, what do you make of it? What would you tell fans? What's the reasoning behind that line in Vegas? I mean, the reasoning, I mean, so, you know, you get three, like typically, I should say, you get three points for being a home team. So, I mean, what I look at this as is it just turns into a pick them one way or the other. So, you know, I mean, you compound that with the fact that we're not going to tell anybody who the quarterback's going to be, which would have coincided when that line flipped. So you don't know if it's going to be Zeb. You don't know if it's going to be Luke Doty, which, it, you know, under these circumstances is a big difference in what you could be expecting from an offensive standpoint. So, you know, realistically to me, it kind of turns into a pick which I think is fine because I, you know, to what we've been talking about this entire time, I don't know how much we really learned from that Eastern Illinois game. And so now you've got somebody coming, you're going to have to go on the road. You're going to have to play against a team with a pulse. And <laughs> I don't know that I would make, us at this point a you know nine point favorite or a seven point favorite over anybody until you kind of see what that looks like Mm -hmm. you know i'll put it to you like this if we had played appalachian state last saturday you know do we fare any better than east carolina would have and that's a tough thing for fans to hear that's a very tough thing for fans to hear right well i mean well i I mean that's fine but i mean it's realistic right right no i'm just i'm just saying i agree i agree with you i I, yeah you know i I would tell you this and i i talked about this on social media yesterday but i i think there are many factors and the reason that you know and i'm surprised ecu is a favorite i thought south gonna be a small favorite i never thought the ecu would be the favorite but yeah i think factoring in one big major question mark at the quarterback position offensive line struggles against Eastern Illinois, which ECU is not great, but they're a lot better than EIU. I can guarantee you that. Um, Still having questions in the secondary defensively. ECU, I do think, has athletes that, believe it or not, I think they've got athletes, Alex, that can beat you or at least give you problems on the defensive side. Being on the road, most certainly, I mean, that's a huge thing. Um, I think you you mix that all together, and I, I think that's where your spread comes out. Again, I, am I surprised ECU is a favorite? Yes, but I'm not surprised at all, like you were saying, that the game is a pick em or, you know, is, is a three-point spread on either side. I, it's really what I expected it at, and, you know, I've tried to tell fans all preseason this is going to be a very, very tough game for South Carolina. And, you know, maybe the Gamecocks will surprise us all and win by 21-plus, but – until proven otherwise, I think fans can pretty much lock in and expect this to be a one-score type of football game either way. I mean, yeah, I agree. And I would also circle back and say, you know, according to Circa, you know, we are a, you know, two-point favorite in this. I mean, where you get the mm-hmm. minus four coming into play is just you had a bunch of betters. Absolutely the money, yeah. Hammer, yeah, mm-hmm. East Carolina, so they had to shore it up. So according to the sports book, we should be favored by two mm-hmm. points. They had to swing that line because of money coming in. 